cell culture. Microbiologists collect a small sample of microbes from a given source. We call this small sample an inoculum and place them into a medium that contains the nutrients needed for life. This creates a cell culture. The medium can be in a liquid form called broth or in a somewhat solid gelatinous form called auger. With our auger plate, we can then use the streak plate method to dilute our sample enough to be able to grow individual colonies. Microbial growth using an auger plate will yield individual colonies of cells that hopefully have been derived from one single parent cell. Microorganisms are everywhere on our skin, on surfaces, even in the air. Because of this, it's important to protect cell cultures from contamination. Microbiologists are usually intending to grow what's called axinic cultures. An axinic culture will consist of a colony of cells generated from a single parent cell or progenitor cell or colony forming unit or CFU. In order to produce such a cell culture, efforts must be taken to sterilize any substance, media, loops, glassware, etc. that may come into contact with the culture. Sterile techniques have been developed to reduce the risk of contamination. Here is an example of the streak plate method. In this technique, a sterile inoculation loop is used to spread an inoculum across the surface of an auger plate. Microbial growth using an auger plate will yield individual colonies of cells that hopefully have been derived from one single parent cell. The dish or plate will develop colonies following a time of incubation. After given time for growth to occur, a successfully streaked plate will show progressively thinning colonies with completely isolated colonies. There is also the pour plate technique. In this technique, colonies are isolated through a series of dilutions. The final dilution is then added to warm auger in a petri dish. The dish will produce colonies after an incubation period. In this technique, colonies are isolated. We can see that aerobic bacteria will want to migrate towards the top of the auger so that they are more exposed to oxygen. More anaerobic bacteria will be deeper within the auger. Auger is the most widely used culture media. It has no nutrients, but it is often added to nutrient broth to form nutrient-rich auger or nutrient auger. It consists of a complex polysaccharide that has a low melting point and is easy to work with. Warm auger can be poured into petri dishes to form petri plates or auger plates or poured into test tubes and you can even keep those test tubes at a slanted angle as it solidifies so that you can get slant tubes or simply slants. And there are many other types of media as well. There's nutritive media, which is defined as any media that supports the growth of a wide range of microorganisms. This is often what we're using in the lab. Differential media is manufactured to undergo a visible change depending on the types of colonies that you produce. 
This media assists microbiologists in identifying microbial species which may be present in a sample. Oxygen is not required for all organisms. In fact, in its molecular form, O2 gas, it can be toxic to some organisms. Reducing medium is used when cultures of anaerobes are necessary because it contains compounds that remove free oxygen radicals from the solution. A selective medium contains ingredients to inhibit the growth of certain microbes in a mixture while allowing the growth of other microbes.